Thank you very much. Today, State Education Commissioner Penny Schwinn testifying virtually before the U.S. Senate Health Committee's hearing on COVID-19. Schwinn discussing returning to school safely and the added costs now that come along with that. Take a listen. So we've spent some time looking at the variety. We have districts as, as small as 130 and as, mu as big as over 100,000. What we have found is that the per student cost for hygiene, disinfecting uh, materials, including wipes, um, potential face masks, et cetera, is anywhere from $100 to $150 per student, depending on the decisions at the local level. And we should note there are roughly 1 million students in Tennessee's public schools. Now, yesterday, the Tennessee Department of Education released guidance to help schools across the state as they look to reopen. Those guidelines recommend different things, including having policies in place so staff members are not punished for staying home due to having symptoms or being in self-quarantine, and also addressing students' physical and mental health needs. Now, we have a link to the full list of guidelines on our website if you want to read them all for yourself. Meanwhile, the Knox County Schools Community Task Force, which is made up of 10 community members, will have meetings this month to review just how school may look in the fall. And we always want to make sure that we get everyone's voice at the table when it involves our students. Because our students are just not pinpointed by teachers, but they're also pinpointed by their home family and by the community in which they live. Now, the president of the Knox County Education Association says she is glad community members are included in the conversations about plans for students, adding that teachers will continue to make their voices heard from the specific focus groups and at the public meetings. She says she hopes the community task force and every focus group is keeping the students in mind with every decision.